Hi, Jamie Davis here with another segment from the MedicCast TV Weekly Commentary. And this week we've got a special segment for our good friends at Aladtech and EMSManager.net. And I was able to catch up with a few of their recent customers to talk to them about some of the things they're doing in management and how they're utilizing EMS Manager to deal with some of those problems and some of the ways it's solving those problems. Let's start off with an interview in this segment from Tony Tucci from Western Berks County EMS in Pennsylvania. Hi, I'm Jamie Davis and we're here uh, talking with Tony Tucci, He's the Deputy Chief at Western Berks EMS in Pennsylvania. And uh, Tony, welcome to uh, our discussion here today. I um, wanted to just uh, say uh, thank you very much for coming on and chatting with us a little bit about EMS Manager. Oh, I appreciate it. Glad to be here. So let's, let's start off with um, what, what kind of things were you doing for scheduling before you started using EMS Manager? Before we used EMS Manager, we were a pen and paper type of scheduling service. Uh, we have three stations uh, spread out between about 128 square miles. Uh, we run multiple crews at multiple times, and it was just a nightmare uh, trying to do a month schedule. Wow. How, how, many, how much time did you spend doing that? Uh, we, I probably spent, and a couple of us probably spent close to 20 to 30 hours to do that schedule for one month. Wow. Wow, and that was a couple of different people working together. Yes, so about a total twenty thirty hours total. Yeah, how did you um, how did you hear about EMS Manager? Uh, we were actually at the EMS Today conference, and we ran into them and uh, looked at their scheduling program and felt that that was one of the best ones. Had a uh, go to meeting, and we had uh, checked with a couple other vendors, and theirs was the best that fit our needs at the time. What were the things you were looking for? Uh, online scheduling, uh, online availability that anyone can view it from anywhere they have an internet connection. Yeah. Um, the ability to put your availability in months in advance, uh, to be able to page out from the program to our members via text message or email, mm -hmm. uh, and the ability for anyone to see open shifts whenever they wanted to after the schedule's been posted. <laughs> that's, that's really great. I mean, the, features, the feature set's pretty amazing, actually, when you look at everything. Uh, absolutely. Um, it's given us a chance to look at how much we've scheduled our employees. Before, you had to go back and look manually. Uh, now, at an instantaneous, I can see who's working 36 hours in a week, who's on overtime, who's not on overtime, who I can give a shift to, who uh, said they had availability for a shift, and now I have an opening, and I can give them a call first. So you spent uh, 20 to 30 man hours before you were using this. Um, how have you seen that change? Um, I spend about four hours now, uh, one day, and I can do a schedule for the whole month. Wow. That's, that's you know, that's, you went from almost having a, a full-time person in man hours to four hours a month? Four hours a month. Wow. Well, now, that's, great, that's just to do the schedule. Now just, we have little bits and pieces people call off, but mm -hmm. uh, when someone would call off before, you'd have to make... 25, 30 phone calls to say, hey, can you work? Can you work? Now, within about 10 seconds, I can put out a, an email burst text page that says, hey, we have an open shift. And usually within about five, six minutes, that shift's filled. So just you no know, more making numerous phone calls and trying to nope. convince somebody to come in. You can find the person who's actually available and wants the extra hours. Absolutely. Fantastic. Well, Tony, I, I appreciate you coming on and chatting with me about EMS Manager. It sounds like it's just the perfect, been the perfect s scheduling solution for what you needed. Well, absolutely. It's actually done two things for us. It's cut down our, our time of my time of doing the schedule, but it's also done another thing, which is kind of a, a great aspect. It's cut our overtime down anywhere from, depending on the month, 25 to 45 percent. Wow. Because now I can see in an instant if... Uh, two people sign up for a shift that I just paged out for, and one person would be overtime for. I wouldn't know it before. Now I can see that, and I can give it to the person who doesn't have overtime, which that saves us a lot of money. Saves you a lot of money, yeah, definitely. 
Well, and that, you know, that's just amazing. You, you have that instantaneous view. You, you can see the oversight of the schedule. You see the people's schedules. You know whether they're in overtime. Um, and, it, and the best part is it's all web-based. So from wherever you are on your smartphone, your tablet, uh, any computer, you can check, check in and see what the status is anytime. Yeah, that's one of the great things our members have all said, said also all of our employees, that they can be at work now on their smartphone. They can see when they're working. It syncs up to their Google Calendar. Uh, they can put in for their availability whenever they want. You know, it wasn't before they had to be at the station to sign up on a piece of paper. You know, now they can. People work all in EMS. We work all different kinds of shifts, and yep. guys on three o'clock in the morning wide awake. Oh, I can do my availability now. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Well, Tony, thanks for taking a few minutes and chatting with me. And uh, you know, I know we're we're not too far away from each other. Maybe we'll run into each other at a conference coming up here soon. Absolutely, look forward to it. Thanks again. I appreciate you having me on. No problem. And that's going to wrap up this segment of the MedicCast TV Weekly Commentary. Remember, you can find all of these over at the site, MedicCast.tv. You can scroll down there and find all of the weekly commentary segments as well as our regular full-length studio video segments from the weekly MedicCast. And all of that's over there, available for you at MedicCast.tv. Remember, you can get in touch with me. Shoot me an email to podmedic at mac.com. I look forward to hearing from you, and I do get back to every email that comes in. In the meantime, I'm Jamie Davis, the PodMedic. As always, remember, scene safety, BSI.